all right traders good morning from beijing and it has been a while since i've made a video and i apologize about that well a video like this um i had some technical issues with the laptop that honestly i didn't address and i'm back now and hello so let us go into what has been happening this week so i was talking about um let's bring up the aussie kiwi the aussie kiwi is a potential potential uh, buy trade here now let's just put together my thesis so we've had an abc we've had another uh down move and i think my thesis here <clears throat> was that this up move here is an impulse wave so i think i'm suggesting that potentially there's there's the third wave so we've got one two the problem with this uh is we pull back a little bit further so that's what i'm looking at tentatively on the aussie kiwi for any elioticians out there i think it's make so strong pardon me now gold this is interesting uh, that is loaded up now so okay I will be looking to go long on gold. Uh, today is going to be the key thing, though. So I'm going to watch and observe and see what the price action shows. If it, if it still goes lower, um, I won't be participating. But you know, there's a little bit of support here, so we'll see. Point of interest right there, actually. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. A bit of a croaky throat. I'll continue on. Also, um, I know not everyone's trading the pound, but pound Aussie may be a potential long. We'll see. That's a lot easier when I have this instead of just the mobile. Because I use DU Recorder for my mobile, and it's not well, it's subpar. Now, this video does have to be quick, and if you have been a long term follower with the channel, thank you. And you're probably thinking, Scott, what's going on with the account? Um, this is the prop account that I sort of treat like a big account um, for an Australian prop firm. So last month, um, there was one really good trade on Euro Yen that I got stopped out at break even. There was another opportunity to enter a little bit later in the month, I think maybe like the 14th. Um, and I missed that. And I had a few other entries and nothing was really terrible. It just, you know, hit the stop. And I was playing more risk to reward. I, I got sort of caught up in it. And the stops were a little too tight than I normally would have them. And I sort of, I paid the price for it. So I really was actually experimenting a little bit on the live account, which honestly is reckless and inappropriate so that's not really but i can't then be upset because i don't know what's going to happen as much as you know with win rates if something's been tested and things like that so i was sort of you know going in blind there so to speak All right pound yen coffee and protein shake in the one thing nice way to start the morning honestly all right so the pound has a bit. I'm just scanning here, guys. This is just sort of the start of the week for me, honestly. Um, I want to see what the Aussie dollar does as well. I think there's interest rate decisions. It is. This is the first Tuesday of the month. It is. Don't know why I needed to click that. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Melbourne Cup Day as well. So. Um, I won't be participating in Beijing, unfortunately, but enjoyed everyone. And USD Cat. Oh, I'm doing here with USD Cat with these. Sort of, that's really the A there. Like it's a one, two, three. I'll tie it there a little bit later, though. Yeah, so the main watch is. Um, let's see, I'll see Kiwi like I can bring up what was I talking about? Because I sent this in Anastasio at City Investment Solutions where I work remotely. There's no salary though, guys. If you're thinking about applying, please understand that. Um, I've got a few people that have reached out to me. 
thing I put it on my LinkedIn. Um, so just please understand that thinking about pro firm trading and things like that, you know, I have a full time job as well. So and I do this. And, so let's just um, take the glamour out of things here. It's definitely not. All right, let, let me focus it a little. Let me take the shine off a little bit. It's it's you know reality is you've got to work hard. Um, I trade ideas. I don't know why this would be different to that. I'm not I'm not entirely sure what I've done if it is, but let's just see what it shows. And tomorrow I'm off to Chungchung. I don't know if anyone's been there. It's near North Korea, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. I go to Europe, but that got changed due to visa issues. So it's unfortunate. But um, oh, I was on the weekly. I see on the weekly. All right, so we have an A B, and then um, that's strange because I changed it and it's gone back to um. Always remember, guys, to go to the high time frames as well. Don't be afraid to do that. That's fine. I'm gonna to have to conclude this video soon because it has a, has to upload. My VPN's working. The firewall settings roll, Dicky. I just sorted that out finally. Didn't have to buy a new laptop. Um, yeah. So we need we need a stronger retrace here. So um, from here to here it needs to be like 38.2. No, 61.8 actually. It's a quite a big retrace. So what would be good is some negative stuff out. That's why I'm going to wait um, till this evening, really, or to London, see what the RBA does, and then go from there. Okay, but this would be a prop firm trade. I'm actually in another firm right now, just on a demo account, just to show them my skills. Um, an Indian prop firm. I'm short the euro pound. And uh, I'm long the pound Aussie, so we'll see what happens there, guys. That's going to be the video. Thank you. Please, again, reach out if you have any questions. I'm going to be from the laptop from now on. It's all sorted. Finally, I know. I should have got this fixed a lot earlier. But um, thank you for your patience, guys. Bye for now, and have a great day.